So this discussion is going to be pretty direct to anybody that is considering lap band surgery and they're in their pre-op phases. One thing that I might recommend that you do is that as part of your cons consultation that you discuss with your doctor regarding the placement of the port as it relates to your body frame. Unfortunately, that was not one thing I talked about with my doctor and as a result, um, I will have to probably get follow-on surgery. Um, since the November time frame, I've been dealing with it and trying to deal with it because I keep hoping that um, if I just change my lifestyle, if I just change um, my posture, if I just change, um, you know, just some of the things that irritate my stomach, that it will um, eventually correct itself. And unfortunately, that's not the case. So, if you want to hear more about what has happened, um, keep on watching. Thank you. Okay. All right. So, what has happened with me? Well, I guess after I had my lap band surgery, I had the normal discomforts of any surgery, you know, that you have. Um, yeah, and for a lap band, it's a little different because they actually have to attach the port to the muscle of your stomach. And so I knew that any discomfort that I had in regards to the placement of my lap band, that that was going to be, or at least so I thought from everything that I read, it's just temporary, it really is just temporary. And getting a lap band fill, it doesn't hurt at all, so it's just temporary. Well, around the November time frame, um, I don't know what was going on if I had a heavy school load. Um, I work full time and um, full-time student, so trying to, you know, old age woman trying to go back to school and finish her degree. I'm almost there, I've got like one more class. And so I thought, well, okay, maybe I'm just not being physical enough or I'm just, you know, I don't know what's irritating it, but it was to the point where I literally couldn't sit for any length of time. And so I went back to the doctors and they gave me cortisone shots and things to reduce the inflammation around my port area. With follow-up appointments, um, they, you know, basically have confirmed that it has, you know, there's nothing, you know, I mean, I can try and tolerate this. It's really going to be a matter of tolerance because when they place the lab band, what they did was that they typically align it with a normal body frame. So they, you know, doctors are pretty smart. It's okay. You're five foot two. Your rib cage is so and so, and so there's the stomach. Boom, boom. You know, it's pretty logical where you place it. The only thing they didn't really consider is the frame, or the frame of my my midsection. And for me, my frame is short. So what ends up happening is that the muscles, when I if I don't watch my posture, the muscles fold over on my port, irritating all those nerve endings because there's a lot of nerve endings that are there. The other thing that irritates it is my rib cage. So um, the rib cage also, you know, pushes on the muscles, pushes on the stomach. Again, combined with poor posture, and um, that will irritate your stomach. Another irritant is the um, for women. This is great. Um, the underwire bra, and I know I've done some other videos <laughs> in regards to the underwire bra. Um, but I just love them. I love them. So, you know, you have to make sure that the, your underwire bra fits absolutely perfect. So, if you wear an underwire bra, you know, and it slides during the day, it hits your rib cage, that too causes even more problems. So, and, you know, so I've been doing all these different workarounds and trying to hope that um, it'll eventually not be as sensitive. And, you know, it's it's unfortunate and I, I guess I really need to you know keep things into perspective and I mean getting my port relocated is not such a bad deal I just need to figure out when I want to do it and how much I can tolerate before um, I just say what the heck I've got to do it so and I think I'm getting to that point because not only is it my port sensitive um, all the time, but it even bothers me at night when I will wake up at night if I just turn over a certain way. Um, it's it's constant. It's just constant. So um, just.
just a word of advice, so if you're pre-op, um, definitely talk to your doctor regarding um, the placement of the port and how that placement is um, has an impact based on your body frame. So I hope this is helpful information, and thank you for watching. Bye.